Adventures! Hello, Interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. My name's Skinny Mini. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, we uh, finished up the investigation and the killer got away. So we're like, well, crap. And then the president finally came out and he is telling us that we have to give up on the investigation. So we have no evidence and we have to cease and desist this. So Edward's like, no, we got to get the truth because the president is definitely hiding something. So now we are going to play logic chess. For the second yeah, time sorry, you're so far. Dang it, you're <laughs> recording. Huh? The recording keeps cutting up. But I'm like, I don't know if she finished her sentence or not. What? Uh, what? What'd you say? And I was like, I was like, I, I didn't know if you finished your sentence or not because the thing keeps cutting up a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let's Excuse do me. this. <clears throat> Now then, let's analyze the situation. <laughs> oh, man. God. Leave this place at once. This is a direct order from the president himself. He's not even listening. Any rebuttal I give, he cuts off. When he has that forceful attitude, I need to watch the situation carefully. Okay, so forceful attitude. So it's different with each person. It's not specifically when they're going crazy is when I have to watch. I believe so. Okay. Okay, so when he has that forceful attitude, I'll watch carefully. My opponent is the president of Zhang Fa. I don't think he'll show any weaknesses easily. His words may be overbearing, but I need not be intimidated. If I observe his behavior closely, I should be able to read his emotions. First, I'll start by asking about his reasons for taking over the investigation. Now, let's begin! A good opening line will put me at, at an advantage. Yes! Logic chess! Begin! Alright, um... Explain your reasons! I'd like you to explain your reasons for depriving us of your, our right to investigate. Impotent fool! Hold your tongue! There's no reason! That should be enough of an explanation for you! I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. You just... <laughs> Okay. Let me try another line of attack. Alright, who's taking over the investigation? Please, allow me to confirm something about the investigation. Nay! I don't recall granting you permission to speak! Uh, wait and see. <clears throat> I am the president of Zhang Fa. You shall not talk back to me. I'm not talking back, I'm simply asking for confirmation. This investigation will be taken over by the police of your country, is that correct? Exactly. That is all I- that is all I will say. Restrain yourself from making any more unnecessary comments. Um... Uh, let's wait and see. Cause that finger seems very forceful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> what? Mm, mm. <laughs> You said it, not me. Uh -huh. I sincerely apologize. I did not mean it that way. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, good. Just ignore what I said. We're okay. nasty. <laughs> so he's like, dot, dot, dot. Uh-huh. <clears throat> That's enough. Being on this plane is tantamount to being, to being on my country's soil. You cannot do as you please. This plane? Is there something significant about this place? I should remember this clue. Okay. Um. Explain your reasons now, I guess? It seems so, because now we have a clue. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I don't, so I don't need all the clues. I just need one to kind of help get us there. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's kind okay. of the thing about logic chess is like... I, I don't know if there's anything necessarily a wrong choice, but there is stuff you need to go through that'll okay. open up another path. I think... I could be, I can be totally wrong here. I'm just trying to remember what I can, but uh, yeah. No, no, no. I, 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 you're, you're explaining it very well. I'm just, I was just reconfirming. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps that clue may be useful here. Did you skip all that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Gathering from what you've said so far. Oh, sorry. I. Oh. Wait. Where? 
He says, I'd like you to explain your reasons for depriving us on our, of our right to investigate. Oh, no, sorry. I skipped all that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. I, okay. Go, go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm already on the, on the part where oh, I go. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah. is this connect? Is it connected to this place? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> sorry. No, you're good. Does that forceful attitude of yours have some connection to this place? Oh, God. Hmm. <sighs> You insolent! Earlier you said that being on this plane is like being on your country's soil. From those words I was able to deduce the answer. Namely, that is, you wish to claim extraterritorial rights inside this plane. Am I correct? No, not this again. Oh, he's sweating! I mean, dude, it looks like he has like a, kind of an asthma attack. You gotta calm down, dude. Dude, you alright? You... Dude? I wanna take off the... Tight ass purple <laughs> suit you got on. <laughs> uh. That's enough. I shall brook no incidents. Uh, you seem unsettled. Let's go with that. Your words are forceful, but I cannot overlook them. The moment I mention extraterritorial rights, your face grew pale. Yay! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just get really excited when I, like, I'm starting to figure it out. Oh, well, good. In light of your brazen courage, I shall grant you an answer. That's right! I am claiming extraterritorial rights inside this plane. <laughs> However, what does that change? My throat kills me. Ugh. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's been a while since I've done any of this, or... Hurting my throat a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are still powerless. There's nothing you can do about it. I see. Under international law, a play the plane would be considered part of Zangfa. How convenient. Hm. If he wishes to stake this claim, then I shall question his validity. Yay! Look at all that time. Look at all that time. The next move will decide the outcome. He may be the president, but there's a hole in his logic. Uh, nope, I'm not going there. Let me break it wide open. Um, is your claim valid? Oh, I, I did that. Well, he did mention the validity. 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 I said, I said it right before. Now I can't do it again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but he didn't mention that, so it's like, it might be a good choice. I challenge the validity of your claim to extraterritorial rights. Do you truly, uh, truly understand what it is you're saying? Of course, and I stand by it. You dare doubt my words. You have no shame. Wait and see. Such in irredeemable ignorance. It troubles me greatly. There's no need to worry. I do not need to be saved. It is Miss Swift whom I wish to save from these false charges that you wish that you have laid against her. But I admire your tenacity. However, your wish is unattainable. The extraterritorial rights laws are unshakable. This plane is Zangfa territory. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Okay. Okay then. I should try another line of attack. Um, okay. Aren't you being too forceful, then? Uh, permit me to say this. Don't you feel that your actions are too forceful? Who asked for your opinion? All you need to do, all you need to do is obey! Uh, wait and see, because you're getting crazy, sir. <laughs> forceful is the wrong word. There's authority. Leadership! So you arrested Miss Swift because you felt you had the authority to do so. Yes! That girl's a criminal! There's no room for dispute! Uh... Wait and see. Yeah, sometimes it, like, it kind of helps if it's like, you look at what the options are, it's like, Edgeworth, you can't say that! Yeah, I'm like, dude! Yeah, she is a criminal! It's like, no, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> it's like, you're gonna get us so in trouble. Oh, okay. The shooting took place outside the plane. Only she could have done it! That's it! 
The shooting occurred outside the plane. This could be a very important clue. Oh. Now we um, go back. Okay. Is your claim valid? Can we skip all this? Okay, yes. yes. Until he says, uh, we have a clue. Uh, we can see. Okay, here we go. Okay, so fast forward. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's time to use that clue. A clue! Oh, uh, the gun came from outside. Indeed, I do not question your extraterritorial rights inside this plane. However, you just claim that the shooting took place outside the plane. Yes. If you if it didn't happen inside the plane, extraterritorial rights do not apply. Your claim has fallen apart. Miss Swift's arrest is invalid. Yeah! Woo! Grr! Impossible! To be bested by a mere prosecutor. I'm the president! <laughs> Checkmate, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Logic chest complete! Yay! So now we have two under our belt. Yay! That was fun. I actually enjoyed that. Mr. President, will you allow us to continue with our investigation? <laughs> I, know, I know, I was waiting for it. <sighs> I. <laughs> he was constipated. <laughs> He looks like he's holding in so many farts, and he's gonna like deflate any minute. It's just <laughs> like, <laughs> oh god. Okay, I'm sorry. Please yeah. good. Very good. Um, I yield. I will allow it. My heart is generous. My heart is tolerant and merciful. Therefore, as such, certainly, thus we shall. Uh, it is our duty for our most noble cause. Uh, gentlemen, now is the time. <laughs> the president is saying, what the fuck is what going is on? What is happening? I know. We're in a second investigation. This guy sure likes beating around the bush. It, mm, yep. Um, nope. Can't. will not make the joke I was going to. Nightly, we have re received the president's uh, permission. Could you can could you return our evidence? Ah, here. <laughs> like a like a, like a swept, uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> you did it, Mr. Edgeworth. Excuse me. <clears throat> Indeed. Now we can resume the investigation. Yeah. It's funny how happy you are just because I gave you your precious pieces back. Let's see how you use them. Boy, if you don't shut up looking like a chapstick. <laughs> you got a lot of words for him, don't you? Yeah, I do. I don't like him. <laughs> hmm. Pay attention, then. Here is my next move. <laughs> Mr. President, may, may I make one more request of you? <laughs> hmm. Would you please testify about the moment of the incident? Testify? Hey, hey! Hold on a sec! That's your next move? Isn't that the sort of thing you lead to the courts? Well, naturally, it's a courtroom procedure. However, I'd still like to hear what he has to say. If he refuses to cooperate with the investigation, he will have to give a clearest reason. That's... Is there something wrong? Get out of here with your OC Sonic looking face. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nothing to apologize about. <laughs> Nightly, stand down. I shall grant the honorable prosecutor's request. I thank you for your cooperation. Now, heed my words. Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> It just got all quiet, and then you start yawning. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to ask for a favor from you. Mm -hmm. Can you take over for the president's voice for me? Yeah, totally. All right, thank you so much. Because, oh my God, I don't know how you're doing it. 
He does a lot of talking. <clears throat> you got. I don't know how the hell I used to do this all by myself. I know. That's why I'm like, dude. Dude, oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> where was well, where was I when the incident occurred? Ah, yes, the stage. Then, Rook and Knightley suddenly appeared and stood in front of me. After that, I heard a gunshot and a red balloon bursting. And so, those two attempted to escort me into the plane. But then, the second gunshot! The bullet pierced through Rook's body and struck my bulletproof vest. If that's the case, then the president's a victim too, right? If it was an assassination attempt, this rook just happened to get caught up in it, unfortunately. But isn't it strange? Why would the victim want to interrupt the investigation? Of course. If this becomes public, it would cause problems. I see. There's still some deep, dark secret behind this case, right? Certainly the president, and perhaps nightly too, know of this secret. Hmm. Without fail, I shall reveal it all for all to see. Okay. Don't, please don't reveal it all, Ajur. <laughs> Not now. Um, Not ever. Speak for yourself. I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's like All Mia, right. we're not revealing everything. It's like, no, Mia, please go right ahead. <laughs> well, she kind of You know what? We're not going to talk about that. No, um, she, uh, kind of, but not all the way. We... <laughs> Where was I when the incident occurred? I was on stage. Okay, um. Brooke and Knightley appear. Okay, he said something. After that, I heard a gunshot and a red balloon bursting. So, my concern is. Well, no, he would know that it's red. Because it's a samurai balloon adorned on the right side of the stage, it ruptured. I, I don't know, that's kind of suspicious to me, but I don't want to present on that because I don't think we have enough information. So maybe can we press on the red balloon bursting statement? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go over evidence really quick because like, something does kind of seem iffy about it. I just can't find the stuff I'm looking for. Ah, F it. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll press on it, yep. Okay, press. Hold it! <laughs> A red balloon. You try my patience, prosecutor? <laughs> that was not my intention. <laughs> I don't know just... where the country accent came from, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure your recollections are reliable. <laughs> and, uh, what the fudge, I just pressed, never mind. There were balloons on both sides of the stage, swelling red in the cloudy sky, as laid out in the security plan. Whoa, what? What were you thinking of? No, 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 I was, I was like, that's a clue. He said from the security plans. I was oh. like, oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you nasty. Shut up. <laughs> the security plans. Ah, the one from the bag. They st oh, sorry. They stepped in front of me just before the balloon burst. And so those two attempted to escort me to the plane. Was that... Okay, no, it didn't present new evidence. Um, the two attempted to escort me to the plane, but then the second gunshot, the bullet pierced through Rook's body and struck my bulletproof vest. Okay, but... How did he know it went through his body? Because that's kind of... It was under his arm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's so fake. Oh, yeah, okay, let's press on that one then. Oh, uh, the bullet piercer looks by? Yeah. Oh, jeez, okay. Um, when a bullet hits, what condition was the victim in? Oh! He was truly a man among men. Still groaning from the bullet's impact, he grabbed hold of me and dashed into the plane. So you enter the plane along with the victim. I am to be protected. Rook was, Rook was protecting me. That was his role. He speaks firmly, but it feels like he's just dodging a question, sir. Yeah, that's kind of vague. He's a president. That's to be expected. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything out of place. Since he's also a victim, he, sh he wouldn't have a reason to lie, sir. 
So, what he says should be nothing but the truth. On the contrary, there is one point that stands out to me as odd. Trying to recall the state of the crime scene. Eh? Really? Sh show me the evidence! Perhaps I should review it one more time. Okay, so the crime scene. So I think I was right about the balloon. Hmm. Because, ah oh yes, it Yes, the stage. Then Rook and Knightley suddenly appeared and stood in front of me. After that, I heard a gunshot and a red balloon bursting. Okay, I, th I think that's it. But I don't know what piece of evidence would go with it. I want to say the Steel Samurai balloon, but... Well, let's go with that, because if anything, it'll show us that you know, we're kind of re... We're confirming what the red balloon is. Maybe it'll open up something else. Okay. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Set. Oh, yeah, that was right. Yay, nice. you did it. A red balloon burst. I'm, I'm afraid that's not the case. What? Please have a look at this piece of evidence. Can you see what was burst? No! What the? Um. So. What face is that? That. That. <laughs> called. I eat a bad. Ate a bad piece of sushi, and I'm about to have a. Anus evacuation. Like <laughs> <laughs> Like that. That. That's. That's how it is. <laughs> you know. You. You got crab walk to the bathroom. I, I... You get... Oh, it's so gross. Okay. Th this is... Wh what exactly? Hmm. It's a steel samurai. Warrior of near old Tokyo. You do well to remember it. If you wish to win the support of this nation's people. And don't forget the rival show, the Jammin' Ninja! The balloon that was ruptured by the bullet was no ordinary red balloon. It was a steel samurai balloon. Mm. But according to the plans, there should have been two red balloons. It says so right here in the security plan. It certainly looks like there are only two round balloons drawn here. <clears throat> Knightley, what is the meaning of this? Explain it once! Yes, sir. That Steel Samurai Balloon was a last minute replacement. Replacement? What? That's what we were told. Seems that information didn't make it to the president. We ran into a little trouble during setup last night. One of the balloons that we have prepared burst. So you scrambled to find a replacement? Exactly. We just happened to run into a guy manning a stand in the park. He said he lent us a Steel Samurai Balloon. Oh, he God. was a kind of a poser. Yeah, I, I have a feeling we're gonna a stand, see. Stand, <laughs> a stand, a steel samurai balloon, and a poser. We pumped air into its red, uh, red samurai pants. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny to me to create a makeshift balloon. So the seal samurai balloon just looked just like an ordinary red balloon. Is that what you mean? Lightly, why was I not informed of this? <sighs> Sir, I'm terribly sorry. I just didn't think it was important enough to report. Couldn't you tell by just looking at it? Hmm. I did not notice it. So we mistook the steel samurai's pants for an ordinary, ordinary balloon. Is there a reason why you made that mistake? Oh! What, what now? Do you remember something? A moment, please. I just remembered now. I could not see the balloon very well. You couldn't see it? Exactly. At the time, the wind was strong. The flags on the stage were fluttering wildly and they, were obst and they obstructed my view. The flags. Oh. Did you not see the flags that were set up on both sides of the stage? Due to the strong winds, they were waving about. 
Just like this. Whoosh. <laughs> you so imagine his hands doing that noodle? <laughs> the noodle wave. Wacky inflatable arm inflating tube man. Wave inflatable <laughs> arm wave. <laughs> I love it. It's little, like Al, kind of Al Harrington, get out of here. <laughs> I'm pacing the savings off to you. <laughs> so strong. Uh. So a strong wind was blowing at the time of the incident. The flags were fluttering wildly. Like... <laughs> is there a problem with that? Um... Hold on. Actually, yes. Because... Because of the bullet trajectory. Okay. Because if you look at the diagram, the bullet went through the flag. Uh... And so the bullet... The bullet wouldn't have hit the flag if it was uh, fluttering the other way. That seems like you're on point. Okay. Yes, there is a problem! <laughs> uh -huh. I get excited. No, you're good. President Wang, or Huang, whatever, <laughs> you have my gratitude. Your testimony has helped uncover a new contradiction. A contradiction? You say? Yes, one that turns the very foundation on, on uh, of this case on its head. During my investigation, there was no wind at the crime scene, so the flags remained still. However, the flags were actually fluttering in a strong wind. This completely changes the meaning of that piece of evidence. Which evidence contradicts that state of the crime scene? Um. This one, the bullet trajectory. Take Check that. it. Take that. The gunshot rang out during the president's speech. The bullet struck the balloon. And also pierced through the national flag. I previously deduced the bullet trajectory using these facts. <laughs> the assassin fired the bullet from the left side of the audience area. However, if the flags are fluttering around like so, my reasoning changes. <gasps> what? Ah, since the flag's positions have changed. Correct. The bullet trajectory must also change. <clears throat> and if we trace the trajectory of the bullets, we can tell who fired the shot. Ah, uh, but Mr. Edgeworth, that person is... Indeed. I still don't understand why. However, it can't be none other than him. <gasps> By tracing the bullet's path, who was the person who fired the gun? Oh, oh, who? Oh, who was the person? Who? We'll who? find out in the next episode! Who? <laughs> who? Who did it? Who did it? Who? Who done, who done did it, y'all? <laughs> we'll figure out next episode, like she said. Thank you guys so very much for watching. In the next episode, we'll figure out who done did it. We gonna get to the bottom of this case. Yeah. Who who? <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Bye. I swear you're gonna be the death of me. Oh please, don't say that. Sorry. Yeah, that was extreme. I'm sorry. That would be that would be just a weird episode of Black Mirror after all this time. It's like <laughs> <laughs> It was him all along! Doggone it! <laughs>